So one day I ordered this new hamster ball that I thought would be better to run on water with than my old hamster ball. But it was kind of too short, but I dealt with it and made my way down to the lake to test it out. I got exhausted in the way, but I eventually made it there. And I normally put my hamster balls in creeks where there's a current. And I didn't realize you needed a current or else you just stay in the same spot. So I couldn't make it to the dock. But it was still pretty cool inside and I tried to spin as much as possible to get some more movement. But after a long while of spinning and doing a bunch of flips, I was making no progress. So I just parked it in the shore, got out, and then started skipping rock sad. Let me know what else you should do. <laughs> so one day I wanted to freeze a balloon out in the cold and put food coloring in it like I've seen before on TikTok because it looks really cool. So I put the balloon out there and let it sit. And then I tried to rip stick, but it wasn't really working. So I threw it and then tried to make a snowball, but it was just powder. And I came back the next day and checked on my balloon and tried to do that cool knife cut thing. And it just cut like this. And then all the water started draining out. So I stabbed it quickly and the food coloring didn't really go in it, <laughs> but I broke it. And then it disappeared in the snow. And then I tried to make a snow angel. <laughs> So one day I went to Walmart and got all the rubber bands they had to make another rubber band ball. Because a lot of people have been wanting me to cut my giant 300 pound rubber band ball in half with a thousand degree knife. But I don't want to do that. So I'm going to make another smaller one starting with this small one and adding a bunch more bands to it. Until eventually it looked like this. And it wasn't near as big as my giant one. But check out this cool little trick when you drop them. It launches them. And it was time to cut first this even smaller one. It cut it right in half and burnt right through it. And then this one. And it worked its way through. And eventually I saw it a little bit and it just popped all the bands off. Remember, don't try any of this stuff at home. It wouldn't go through the tinfoil ball, so I just threw the knife at the tree and stuck it. One day I decided to take my old giant paper airplane that didn't fly very well and recreate it with great stuff. So we coated the whole thing in this great stuff and outlined it until... It was done, and then we let it dry and came back. And the paper wasn't very easy to peel off. It took quite a while, but eventually I got it, and it looked like this. And then the next day, it was ready to fly. Yeah, the first flight wasn't great. Neither was the second, and not really the third. It was a little bit better. And after another fail, I cut some off and had this flight. It was pretty good. Then I threw it in a pool and jumped in. <laughs> So one day I decided to make a life jacket out of great stuff and a pair of slides. Started with the life jacket, then outlined a pair of my slides and filled that out. I messed with the slides a little bit off camera to make them look like this, but the next day they were pretty good. I could walk in them, jump, and even run. I also threw them in this tiny pool and they floated. And then I got out the life jacket and tried to run in the pool thinking I would run on water, but I didn't. And then I took the life jacket to the creek to test it. And when I fell in, the great stuff life jacket perfectly saved me. And it worked amazingly. Still do not attempt this. So one day someone commented and told me to make a boat out of plastic containers, so I made one out of these plastic bottles. I taped this seat on like this, and it was ready to float down the creek. I got on, and I took off, and it was kind of hard to balance, and then I fell. But I got back up and continued on down the creek. The boat was kind of unstable, but I continued on as far as I could go. And when I made it to the big current, I was unbalanced and fell off. And then I lost track of the boat. It was floating down the creek, so I chased after it and hopped on. And then fell again. And also chased the oar down and finally headed back. Comment what else I should make a boat out of. So everyone wanted us to make the snow pile in the parking lot that we made into an igloo even bigger. So we went back the next day with our shovels to do just that, digging out the hole and scraping all the snow out. And while we were digging, we found whatever this is. And keep in mind, I do not recommend you try this at home or anywhere. I'm a trained pro, yo. Anyway, we kept on digging more and more snow out, which was taking a very, very long time. But it was kind of satisfying. And after quite some time, here was our progress. We still had a lot of snow to clear out and we needed to make it more even. We shoveled out all that snow. <laughs> And then my friend made a seat. And it was pretty cool. I sat on it. <laughs> the igloo was starting to come together. We shoveled out some more snow until it was completely finished. And here's the inside. I laid down, poked the ceiling, and then started punching the roof in to destroy it. And then I completely destroyed the whole fort so no one would get hurt in it. And then did a front flip. And here's the aftermath. So one day I was dropping my giant 160 pound rubber band ball off a bucket lift and I had some cool stuff to drop on it including an inflatable pool, an air mattress, and a giant water balloon. I started with this and it did that. Here's the underwater slow mo. It hit the water so hard it did this to the ball. Then I got out the air mattress and dropped it on it as well. And it didn't even pop. Look at it. But it did lose some bands when it dropped. So then I tried again with the pineapple on it, but I missed the pineapple. Then I did the water balloon, and it completely smashed it. Here's the slow-mo. And then it rolled off and went into the woods. And it just kept going down this very steep hill. Like, if you want to see how I get it out. So one day I decided to fill this giant hamster ball up with water and swim in it. And this one's a lot bigger than my last one, so it'd be easier to fill with water. And I stopped it at this level so I could still be able to get in and swim in it. And then I jumped in. And it was pretty cool inside. I went underwater, and here I am. And then I came back up and put some goggles on and went back underwater again. And it was really cold, so I got out for a sec, got in the hot tub, and then got back in with a floaty. And then spun around. And then I decided to turn it into a giant batch of Kool-Aid. Full videos on my YouTube, Dylan Ayers. 
So one day I got out my giant hamster ball to fill with ball pit balls, cause why not? Now this one has a hole in it, unlike the last one, but I'm gonna go in it anyway. I splashed around in it, kicked it, and then went off. And it was pretty crazy, I don't know how to describe it, but then some balls started to leak out, and even more. And after all the balls fell out, the wind picked up and started blowing them everywhere. But we got all those cleaned up, and then the next day filled it back up, cause I had an idea to tape up the hole and try it again. And it worked just fine, none of the balls were leaking. I ran through the puddle, then ran down the road, then ran back ran through the puddle again did another flip Ooh. and then came to the stop and here's what the inside looks like and let me know what else i should try so one day i decided to see if i could make foam board into a boat that would float me down the creek this is going to be my first part to a series where i test if random objects or materials will make a boat i had the boat made and then i took it down to the creek put it in the water and got in and at first i didn't think it was going very well then i put a hole in it and had to move it to deeper water so then I tested it again and completely ruined the boat. <laughs> Look at it. So then I ran off sad, but come in any other boat ideas you want me to make. So one day I took my giant hamster ball out in the rain and filled it up with more water to slide around in. It was pretty cold, but it was also really slick and fun to slide around on. You could just run around and then start flying in circles. Here I am with a lot of momentum. Then I got cold, so I took a break and ran to a puddle and then went and jumped into my hot tub. After that, I got out, filled the ball back up with more water and got back in and rolled around through the puddle, slipped around, ran down the road and did a flip. And then did another one. So one day I ordered this stuff called Great Stuff, which is basically expandable foam insulation. And my goal was to build a boat out of it. Not just any boat, a cardboard boat. Because a while back I had a series on TikTok where I tried to make cardboard boats float. And I was never very successful. But I used the best cardboard boat design I knew how to make. And then I was going to cover the entire outside in the Great Stuff. And hopefully it'll float. So I finished taping up the entire bottom like this and i already had a decent looking boat then we covered the entire bottom in the great stuff and then later we covered the rest of the sides and when i came back the next day it was solid looking and it was ready to be tested in the creek i walked it down and then got in and i started to float away it was working flawlessly without any problems so i just kept on rowing and having a good time and then i about ran into a tree and then i started heading out further and it was the best boat i'd ever made i just kept going so one day I ordered around 300 Rubik's cubes to try to make one of those paintings that I keep seeing on TikTok. We made a frame, I tested it out, and it would do. It was alright. <laughs> but then I had to think what I would make and how I would make it. And I decided I would make Shrek using a color grid type thing. So then I started placing cubes, and I underestimated how long it would take. It ended up taking like four hours. And I didn't have black, so I ended up using orange. So when I got done, I rearranged some cubes and also took some stickers off and made it look even better. And the further you go, the more it looks like Shrek. So one day it was super windy outside so I went to Walmart and decided to get all the stuff to make a homemade parachute. I had duct tape and trash bags and then I lined up the trash bags three by two and duct taped them all together on both sides until I had something that resembled a parachute. And then I picked it up and took it outside to see how it blew in the wind. And the wind could catch it so I was fairly sure it would work. And before I used it I wanted to test it on a five pound weight and it didn't do good on that run so I threw it off the roof and it did a little bit better. Here it is. And then I threw it off the carport after that and it did all right. So then I jumped. Yeah, don't try it home. So after trying and failing to fix dents with hot glue, my comment section was filled with people telling me to let it cool down for even longer. So that's what I'm going to do. Here I am. Here's the time lapse of it cooling all the way until I didn't even have to touch it. And I then pulled it off and it didn't work. However, it is a pretty big dent. But there's other comments that said to try a plunger. So I tried that for a long time too, using fire in this plunger. This one might have worked if it was a smaller dent. So don't try this at home. So one day my brother and his friend had an idea to take all the ball pit balls from my storm shelter and put them all in our friend Joe's office who's an insurance agent. So we transported them all to the office and we had to put them all in here. But first I spun around in the chair a little bit and then got to pouring and we poured out all the ball pit balls and it was completely covered. I set the GoPro we up. We shut the lights off and left and he was supposed to come back in the morning but he actually ended up coming in at midnight. And here was his reaction. What the hell is this? No way. You guys got one this time. Next time, it's not gonna happen. He then messaged me, so I zoomed over there to get his reaction. Good. What were you doing back here? What do you mean? I come back all the time. Here it is, completely covered. <laughs> Dude, you're still recording me? <laughs> One day on part 53 of my giant rubber band ball series, I thought it was like any other rubber band ball video, placing a bunch of bands, but the clouds began to move in. After a while, placing rubber bands, it began to pour, and the rain just kept coming down harder and harder, so I got the bean bag to safety and then had to come back for the rubber band ball. Pushed that over 300 pound rubber band ball through the rain and into the garage, and then went back making two trips to get all the rubber bands to place it in the garage. I shut the garage door, dried off the rubber band ball, and we got to work placing all the rest of the bands until we were eventually done. And the ball now should weigh like 340. 
47 pounds. Like if I should keep on going. So one day someone commented for me to use hot glue sticks to try to get the dents out like five minute crafts. And I'm gonna try because I put quite a lot of dents in this car with my rubber band ball. I went to Walmart, got some hot glue sticks, and then went home to fix these dents. The little lighter wasn't big enough so I got out this blowtorch, stuck it on, and it pulled the metal but didn't work. So I tried again and still failed. Yeah. So I got out the longer sticks with more fire, don't try this at home, and failed, and failed, and failed. And failed again. And then I tried to make a smaller dent with a bat thinking the dents were too big but that wasn't the case. This is indeed cap. So one day, after people kept commenting for me to spend 24 hours in the storm shelter, I decided to sleep in it. I shoved an air mattress down there, had my MREs, and I was ready to sleep in it. I then left and came back later that night to actually sleep in it, because I wasn't going to stay in there the whole time. I set up my lantern, turned on these lights, and I was ready to go. And it was pretty cool. I laid down and tried to go to sleep, and then my brother came out to check on me like two hours later. We talked for a bit, he told me the time, and then he left, and I ate my MREs. And I didn't put water in the eggs for they were bad, but the ice cream sandwich was still good. And then I went to sleep. And here I was the next morning, and it wasn't that bad of sleep. <laughs>